guys, I hope you're doing well. So today is a little bit of a different video. So if you guys don't know yet, which I don't know if I've really said anything in any of my shorts yet, but I'm going to actually be participating in two different art shows coming this spring. So details on that will be at the end of the video and in the description. So if you're close by, feel free to come see me. So anyway, since it's my first art show, I have been working on like some stickers and prints. So today I have this um, sticker board or display, whatever you want to call it, that I made up. I just like like really thin wood paneling that I just hot glued together. So we're going to be painting, spray painting this outside. And then I also have this little business card holder that my boyfriend made for me. And it's a little like painting easel. So I got a little card here. So these just will sit right in there like that. So yeah. So this is getting painted. And then um, in this video, you'll probably see me cutting out some more of my stickers that I have made up just on sheets that I'm cutting out and um, printing off some of my prints and I got a paper cutter to make them all to scale and I have a couple that will be displayed in frames like uh, I think it's five by seven and eight by ten is the two sizes that I'm making so I got both those size frames to display two different ones in just so people can see how they can be displayed and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy that So it's the next morning and I let my sticker tray and the little easel business card sit overnight. So we got that all painted up black. And what I have learned is I am really not good at running a spray can. Like, if you watch this, I was literally pressing the trigger when I was already over it and passed it again. I was not hitting it at all, so then I just ended up dousing it. But it didn't run, which I'm happy about. I mean, I don't think it would have really shown up on this guy anyway. And. This guy came out really well spray painted. So I did do two coats. I only filmed like the beginning kind of thing. I did do the back, kind of didn't really get down here, but that's the, the bottom anyway. So it's not really gonna matter, but it looks really good. It looks way better than it did. And actually glue like in the creases and stuff actually don't show up as bad as I thought they were going to. It actually, it makes it look pretty good. I tried to get all those little hot glue strands off of it because I knew they would show up but no it it I think it looks pretty decent I'll probably perfect it a little bit and actually I don't want to just leave it black I'm thinking I think I might do like my little JK unofficial logo and visions on this on both sides kind of thing cut some stickers now and do some prints and then we'll come back
guys, I thought I'd chime in just to kind of explain. It's kind of a weird setup in my loft, but it, it works because my printer just stays up here. So I just use Canva on the computer and I put it in and then it's easy to like put it to the size you want and then to center it on the page so much easier than anything else I would use. So and then I just download it and then I print that. So and then I got this paper cutter which is, I love it because if I did it with scissors it would look like this. And once we do, once we cut them and then just put them in the like the plastic wraps that I got just from, just from Amazon. Yeah, I got them from Amazon. So. Yeah, I just go through that on the computer, print, cut, package. I do sign them. I have been signing them all. I think that's kind of probably a cool little knack for anyone who wants to buy one. So yeah, anyway, we'll keep going. I think we're just going to maybe set up the table just to see what, how I can set it up and what it'll look. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to set up my table there and kinda figure out how I want to set it up because I don't really know yet. So trial and error and I think this is the best of how you guys can see it. Okay guys, so this is kind of the setup that I've went with. So I got, I have an easel down there holding that painting up and then these kind of like just leaning against and then I have some of these more um, white racks behind these ones holding those two big ones up and then having a few on there. This one hits the table so that's okay and then that guy's on there. And then I've just like laid out like a whole bunch. We'll have my stickers here. I didn't put them all out, but got that there. And then a little sign, my table's in the way, but so you'll see that coming up. And then I think this is kind of where I'm gonna put my business cards because yeah, everything else is kind of occupied. And then I've got my good easel in the back. So yeah, this is my um, as good as I can get at the moment set up just to kind of get a feel of what I might be trying to achieve the day of but it's nice because I'm pretty sure I get two hours to set up so I mean I can do a lot of different arranging in two hours pretty excited I hope if you guys are around the area you'll come out and see me and you know like I'm planning on selling stickers for like a dollar and then print small ones are gonna be like five the big ones are being, gonna be ten and then my flat rate for all my paintings start at 20 and then go up from there kind of thing. All right, we, we will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this video. And yeah, I will probably be talking to you guys later after those dates. So wish me luck. <laughs>